Yeah, that was terrible, that. We had a little nursery we used to deal with, and they only did a, probably a couple hundred bonsais a year. And they weren't a big seller for us. We had a guy called Rob, who was one of Chris Southwood's cousins, who was interested in them. He used to actually propagate some and grow them on and then sell them to the garden centre. One year I bought in a dozen or so from this particular firm and one of them was the prettiest bonds I've ever sold. It was a double grafted cherry. One branch, well, one fan of three little tiny branches on one side was pink flowers and the matching three on the opposite side, sort of three branches each way, were white. And it was must have been March because the flowers were in bud, they hadn't come out, but you could just see the colour was starting to form. And the lady came in, looked at it, loved it, bought it, disappeared. Great. There's a good markup on those, there's always a good sale when you could do it, and I'd like to see the stock go because if they weren't looked after perfectly, they very quickly went down in quality and you know then you, then you couldn't get the money from them anyway. To my surprise, fortnight later, I saw the same lady walking down Townsend's yard. And as you know, that's a very narrow lane. And from about 100 yards away, you could see her. She turned off Highgate High Street. And she was almost doing a goose step. There was this indignation in every line. And she was holding the bonsai out in front of her. Like that! And I saw her through the uh, window of the shop and I thought, just my immediate gut feeling was, I do not wish to speak to this person inside the shop on a Saturday morning. So I ran out of the shop and intercepted her at the gate. I said, oh, can I help you in my usual terribly polite manner? She started off, I demand my money back, opening gambit, still clutching this bonsai. Well, I'm half Irish and half Scots. The Scots bit of me doesn't like giving money back, and the Irish bit of me hates being told what I will do in those sorts of terms. So I stalled for time. I was furiously thinking what had happened. And I have always said what I see. Literally, I just say what I see when somebody brings back a plant they've got a problem with. And this bonsai looked exactly the same as when we'd sold it which puzzled me because the buds hadn't come any further out. And looking at it a bit more closely, it looked actually dusty. All the, all the leaves which had just about been just about to come out as well, everything just looked slightly dusty and when I ran my finger along one of the little branches, all the leaves crumbled and fell off. They'd been cooked. So I said, it looks as though it's been cooked. Boom! Went up like a fire rocket. What do you mean, what do you mean? I've watered this carefully, I've this, that and the other. Well, what it turned out had happened was she'd come home with the bonsai, put it in a conservatory, locked it up and gone off on holiday for a fortnight. And when she'd come back, it had been cooked. My first gut reaction was, was, was right. The poor thing had completely dried out and been completely cooked in the hot spring sun inside this conservatory. So I pointed this out to him and said, you know, that's not our fault. You know, it, it needed ventilation. It wanted to be watered. Well, you didn't tell me that. At which point I lost it uh, because I was I was actually out, outraged on behalf of the people who'd grown it. It was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. And this stupid woman had killed it. And I just said, right, when you buy a car, do they tell you that you have to put petrol in it? No. So, you know, the same goes for plants and watering. I shall never come here again. I don't want you, madam. <laughs> and she stormed out. And since then, when I do training with managers on looking after customers, I say, well, my 30 seconds of glory cost me an awful lot of money that day because you calculate the value of a customer by you know, how many times they're likely to call on your centre in a year, what the average spend is, how many years they're likely to be a customer of yours, and you multiply all those up, it comes to quite a large number. Oh, and by the way, anybody who's as pissed off as she probably was.